All right, guys, welcome back. Last time we learned how to make a curved hallway. I uh, touched it up some of the textures in this room while you guys were away. So today we're going to see how we can make some realistic terrain. Um, I'm going to just scoot this door up out of the way, like as if it went up. <clears throat> and then we're going to build a we're going to build an outside area here. Uh, so our floor is kind of uh, one piece right now and it's occupying these areas so I want to I'm just gonna clip out this portion okay and then we'll just scoot that back all right and then let's build let's find some walls to work with how about we'll go over to out, see what we have to work with. Hmm, got something kind of basic right here. Let's do this one. Okay. Now what I can do is I could apply textures to the sides of these, but I might just start fresh here with like a new wall like that and we're gonna make an outdoor courtyard so we want grass so we got to search for GRSS for this uh, standard grass like this and then I think I'm gonna have something that looks kinda kinda like this Okay, that's good. Um, let me find something different than that. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this ordinary. I'm just gonna go with a plain, I'm gonna settle with this plain concrete like this. And let's go ahead and wall our area off. And I'm not really concerned with the thickness of the wall right now. Okay. And let's get some on this side. And we can uh, fix this door a little bit. Maybe we'll come back and make that a usable door. Okay. Let's put some trim under the bottom. How about this one? Oops, let's bring that back and rotate 90 degrees. Should look like that. Center. All right, that's cool. And then uh, a little too thick. Okay, that's fine. How about that? Okay, big old blast door. Fit these. I kind of like the like how those look. <clears throat> and let's figure out how to put a wall on this side. And maybe we can. Eh, for now, we'll just do something like that. Hmm. Let's bring that in. Actually, put that above here. Okay. Let's make sure that looks okay. We got something kind of overlapping here. Okay. Um, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so we have our outdoor area. Let's talk about the sky. So how do we make a sky? So we'll need first the sky texture, SKY. You get this light blue texture here. 
Well, let's go ahead and place a block over here, which is where the sky will render. And that should be good. Now we don't have to set that to an entity. It'll automatically turn into sky. Um, so let's find, uh, we want to click on this button here, draw dynamic skybox in 3D. And Jack will automatically render the, the skybox. If we want to change the type of sky, we can go into map properties. We go to in, environment map. And we can select them from here. And then uh, another benefit of Jack is it gives us some previews. So if I wanted Dusk, I could do that. And there's some alien ones in there and some nighttime skies as well. Okay. Another thing that we will need is a point-based entity called Light Environment. And that can really go anywhere in the map. So we'll just pop that here and you should see a little sun. And that's how it should look. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to, since we're going to be working on the ground here, I'm going to hide the sky and the light. We'll just click the uh, red cube here and that should hide, hide the selection. And let's set this Let's set this to two, it's a little too small. And to be honest, it's not really a great grass. Let's actually get uh, that classic desert. So this one should work. So let's replace that. That's gonna look a little more, a little more half-life. And I'm actually gonna reset that. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so if you watched my video about vertex manipulation, something that I wanted to make a point of is that it's real easy to make an invalid structure, something that looks like this. But with triangles, see, invalid structure. But if you have triangles, a face with a triangle will never be an invalid structure because three vertices will always be on the same plane. With that bit of knowledge, what we can do here is um, we're going to shrink this down and work with this here. So we, what we want to do, like I'm going to turn texture lock off, and basically we want to not work with squares, we want to work with triangles. So I'm going to split these in half. And then we're going to make copies of these. And then those two, we can make two copies of those. And with these four or eight triangles rather, I'm going to make copies and I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay. And we can stretch that out a little bit. Let's copy these, oops, copy these here, actually copy all of them. Okay. So basically we have a, sh we have a bunch of shapes that look like this. Okay. So instead of one big outside square, we have a bunch of little triangles. And now what we can do is select all the triangles, go into vertex manipulation, and we can select any number of these vertices, and we can either move them up, and we gotta deselect, okay, or down, and you can you can get some interesting geometry like that. And I'm just doing this at random here. And then eventually you're going to have something that looks pretty decent. And we don't we we can also move them in the other directions as well, like that.
but we just have to make sure that we select so you'll notice it makes this little hexagon shape and you want to make sure that you select we have six triangles we want to make sure that you're grabbing all six of the intersection points see that all right now let's take a look and that's pretty much it and you can continue warping it any way you want to so you can come over here just kind of decide what needs to be changed so we could do that and just warp it anyway only thing is you want to make sure that where it meets the concrete that that does not get um, you want to keep those lined up because if I were to I'll show you what would happen if I were to move this this uh, if I were to move these up you're gonna get something like that and that's not gonna be good it's gonna be ugly or worse you're gonna get something like that which is a leak and your map will, will not compile okay and you can just keep doing that however you want And you can make some low areas if you want. But make sure you make sure that you have all the triangles selected when you're manipulating. Okay. So we're gonna let's look at what we did. So you can see in our 2D views we have that uh, 3D geometry there. So if I wanted to do this, I could put some concrete in here. Just grab that. You could do like a flat area like that. Or whatever, or if you want to make it, if you wanted to make it dirt, or you could even make a pond. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our sky back, and let's run the map, see how it looks. And you can see we have some uh, pretty decent ground here, and we even have a, a little pond. possibilities are endless. Well, that's it. And that's how you make realistic ground. And thanks for watching.